Good evening, Nigeria. Um, it is December 27th. This is Dr. Peregrino Brimer, and you're listening to Niger Live. Yeah, welcome to our Sunday show. Um, with me on the program is Leila of Kaduna. Um, Leila, are you there? Yes, hello, Leila. Are you there? Okay, so while we, while I make sure that is uh, all set, we'll give you a rundown of the news and the happenings in Nigeria. So the first thing that's going on, as we all might be aware, is the um, Zaria tragedy. First of all, breaking news. Breaking news. Um, Boko Haram has staged some attacks in Borno. They are staging the attacks right, right now. Um, the attacks are ongoing right now. News is just coming in. I got, we got a intel report of uh, the report said that an area being attacked is um, just reading the reports. It's close to Jidari Polo, part of Meduguri. So anybody in that area, um, they are probably hearing gunshots and explosions in the area in Jidari Polo. They said Boko Haram is attacking Aridawari. So near Aridawari village is currently being attacked. Um, the military are said to be in pursuit but a an RPG reportedly landed in Meiduguri, killing about seven people. We also have reports. Yes, hello. Are you there, Leila? Yes, Leila, are you there? Okay, so we also have reports of um, we also have reports of another attack happening, an explosion. I'm just reading this on a news site. An explosion happened at Sulemanti Ward along Damboa. Oh, um, try it again. Along Damboa. To try the other number again? Yes. So this is this is serious because um Yes. Leila, are you there? Yes, Leila, are you there? Yes, can you hear me? 
Okay, I can hear you now. Let me just make sure it's uh, coming through. Yes, Leila, could you? Okay, can you hear me now? Um, yes. All right, great. Okay, so um, co-host Leila, welcome to the show. I was just giving them a rundown of the news there. Boko Haram is attacking currently in Maidugu, in Maiduguri, near close to Maiduguri. In fact, the people in Maiduguri are afraid. They actually think um, Boko Haram is attacking Maiduguri itself because the bullets are very, very, the gunshot, the sound of gunfire is very, very high. And as I'm sure you know, the Nigerian presidency said that they have technically defeated Boko Haram, but I guess we'll say Boko Haram is technically attacking Maiduguri. I'm not sure your comments on this. Well, it's uh, let's uh, even uh, call a spade a spade. It's uh, if uh, if Boko Haram attacks, is that something technical? Can the president really say that we have eradicated, we have already gotten rid of Boko Haram? No. So, they are still active. People, of course, they are very afraid. So, um, of course, you know that uh, there will be panic. The bad things, unfortunately, have n are not yet over in Nigeria. And it seems that there are more and more things that are stirred up. I wish that uh, the leaders, the governors, uh, even the senators, you know, can they can just sit down and talk seriously about it. Because uh, with the incidents that we had taking place in, uh, in Zaria, and you know, Dr. Brima also, that we really didn't want to talk about it, you know, about the bad things, the right. sad things today. Yeah. But Professor all the... Good sad things, you know, that have taken place in Zaria, and then the destruction uh, and demolition of all the properties uh, for uh, the Shia group in uh, Nigeria, the sale of their properties. I mean, why on earth and who on earth is giving them the right even to do such a thing? It is as if, if you don't belong to our group, then you do not have a place in Nigeria. And that is not right, you know? So um, I keep on telling people, it's like, hey, you know, it's like, think before you act. Be more accepting. Even last time, remember Dr. Brima, last, last Sunday we had a very long show. It extended well past uh, the normal hour of our show. So, um... People, they still do things without thinking. Right. The army does things without thinking. Now, do we expect the army to, uh, to really think? No. They are trained to shoot. So, they don't know much. So they listen to orders. Are you suggesting that the, there is a problem of leadership with the Nigerian military? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, you know, even the reports, it's, it's just that uh, people, they, uh, they are so glued either to TV stations or, um, you know, false reports, uh, just like, you know, we read a few, uh, few days ago, you know, the military saying, no, they have not shot any Shia. Well, really? Is that really true? Is it true that their properties have not been destroyed? No. So, people's, the general mass's attention, it's so easily diverted from the important issues. Uh, talking about Christmas trees and, you know, uh, uh, now the subsidy, you know, of uh, petrol, you know, the gas station, 
And it really, this hasn't really made much difference at all. You know, what is the difference between 97 Naira and 80-something Naira? Not much. Well, yeah. for, the poor, for the poor person, it, it's all the same. You've got through so many topics in one breath. That's a in whole one breath. topic because the price of gas has gone down from about a price of a barrel of petrol from over hundred dollars a barrel to twenty to thirty five dollars a barrel. So yeah, today I saw it is actually under thirty five. Right under, and it's probably heading towards twenty. So what you are saying is, with that decrement in the price of oil, you know, basically. Bringing it down 10, 10, 10, 10 naira is nothing. It's nothing. It's For the normal, regular person, that is nothing. Because how much is the salary, the monthly salary of a normal, regular person? Can we even talk about middle class yeah, in Nigeria in the they first have place? To sell oil for a certain amount of money so that they can make some profit from oil to run the country because... You know, this is the so basically the government is making money from the people on oil to run the country. Well, maybe if they are going to reduce from their own expenses, you know, maybe you know they can uh, allocate you know that money towards something else so that the poor people can enjoy too. So basically, in your perspective, there need to be more rewards for the poor people. Right now, you have the National Assembly; they are still allocating cars of millions of dollars to themselves so we sure a sacrifice on all sides the masses sure be the ones always at the receiving end and we Otherwise, and we know how uh, the and we know how uh, the process of uh, participating at the national assembly goes it's by invitation it's who is who uh it's a matter of influence I do remember that the other year, I mean, it was, when was it, last year, um, the people who were participating, I believe they were paid uh, something, uh, it was like 12 million naira per month. Right. And it, it was only at about 75,000 dollars, okay, which is, in dollars, is not really much, but. You know, in Nigeria, that amount of money is ridiculously high. Why on earth would they be paid? They want they want to participate in the National Assembly. They want to contribute to the welfare of the country. They should even volunteer right. time and work and to participate in the National Assembly. Is, but what does it show you? That is very interesting because... That is very interesting because many of us volunteer our our time and money in the in the private sector to try to keep Nigeria working. So why they should exactly. be doing it at such a profit while you know Nigerians are suffering. Now before let's 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 stick with Let's the, go back. Yeah, let's go back. We've kind of drifted. So um, back to the military. The military, what do you feel about the promise of the deadline? And then there was a particular breaking story that you shared with me. And I like your thoughts on that, which is, you know, um, you shared with me the story about burning Sambiza Forest. What, what are your comments on that? Well, um, of course, as I said, you know, earlier, military doesn't think. They just go, they don't have the appropriate training, they are well underpaid. Um, so to the military, it's not a matter of being educated, of thinking, you know, of what analyzing they, what things. They, what they were trying to do was to meet the Buhari deadline of December. Okay, but the thing is, one, that deadline, forget about it. That, that's absolutely out of the question. Secondly, Burning of forest, and remember, if you remember in my comments when, when I was texting you a few days ago and I was saying, how will the burning down to the ground of a forest that took hundreds and hundreds of years, you know, solve the problem of eradicating Boko Haram? 
I mean, really? And then I, you know, I, I was so, I was shocked.